Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and it has been ages since I've done a video but I have some projects that I'd like to share with you and maybe get some feedback on whether there's something that you also might like to do or not. So um, yeah, I, the one I really, really want to share is um, something that I saw on Pinterest. So let me just show you my Pinterest. I hope you can see this on the camera okay. I saw this on Pinterest, sorry if you can't see it very well, I'm doing my best. Um, and it says it's an ATC holder, but I know that they do bigger, or they did do bigger ones before. So, when I looked into this, it was made years ago by Seven Gypsies, but then Seven Gypsies sold out to Canvas Corp, and Canvas Corp don't do them anymore. So I saw this photo spinner out, or this ATC holder, but I know that they also do a big, or they used to do a bigger one that was a photo spinner. And I wanted it so much. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I'm a bit excited. <laughs> I wanted one and I couldn't get one. So I made one. I made my own. See that? I'm so thrilled by this. So this is a terrible view. So I did do a quick bit of footage so you could see it from side on, not front on. So I'll just put that in here now. So these things are so awkward to um, record. I tried to do it from the front, but it was really difficult. Anyway, the photo stand itself, I printed on my 3D printer and then I attached a Lazy Susan bearing to the bottom of it um, so that it just spins around really nicely like this when it doesn't get caught up on something. See, what are you getting caught up on? Oh, there's a bit of string dangling down here. There we go. So, yeah, it's still stuck on a bit of string. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so um, all of these cards and things that go into it, I cut out with my Cricut. So I made a set of SVG files because, you know, that's what I do, apart from, you know, 3D printing now. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to pop this to the side and I can show you all the different components that I made. And I'd like to know whether you guys would be interested in making this too. It would involve me having to ship the photo spinner to you and probably um, in pieces. So I'll do a video on how to put it together. But it's really simple and I thought I would probably um, put it together 90% myself and then ship it to you. And then you probably all you'd have to do is put the, the top on and um, glue it together with the bottom piece just because otherwise I haven't, well, I haven't found a box yet that's long enough and wide enough to ship the whole thing but anyway you can tell me whether it's something you'd like to do <clears throat> because if you do then I can put this in my Etsy store and we can work out about shipping the photo spinner um, I was a bit worried about the cost of shipping it, but I think we can do it. We can give it a go anyway. So anyway, um, the SVG files that I made are a series of eight base pages and then an envelope and a bag and some little bits and pieces that go on to these little cards. So these little cards come on and off the photo spinner and the method that I've used to put them on and off is... Um, Happy Planner discs. So even if you didn't want to use this set of um, SVG files, you could still just use a Happy Planner punch and punch the holes yourself to attach anything you like to the photo spinner. So let me show you. Um, all of the pieces in here have already got the pre the holes pre-cut so that you don't you don't need a punch um, but you can easily use one for bits that are smaller or whatever but let me show you um, so let's start with the envelope let me show you an envelope so here's one here um, so the paper pack that I used to do this was an an old one that I had from Kaiser Craft 
ages ago I made an album for my son and it had this um, travel it was travel themed by Kaisercraft and I had so many leftovers and they're all sort of smaller shapes and I didn't really know what to do with it I couldn't make a whole album again but um, these pieces um, are just great because I can cut lots of little pieces you know out of that scrapbook paper and I really made a good job of it so I've based everything around a six by four photo so um, this is this envelope will fit it's like uh, nearly six and a half inches not quite and width it is more than four inches across so you can easily fit um, a six by four photo in here i've actually just put in even more ephemera that i've still got <laughs> all travel related ephemera so i've just filled up that one so that envelope is this one here and i have not put any mats on it i just cut it out of some of this craft paper because it goes with my theme really nicely but you could cut this out of scrapbook paper or anything really or you could cut it out of plain paper or plain cardstock and then um, mat it, but I didn't, so that's this one. Now, to attach it to the photo spinner itself, I've got these strips here, which means that basically you can use these strips to attach anything you like to the photo spinner. It doesn't necessarily have to be one of these cards, so that's this strip here. And as an example, I had this really old 6x4 photo album, which I can't find now, but uh, I've put it away somewhere safely. But I pulled the pages out of this really old, you know, one of those cheap $2 photo albums. It's like this one, right? But the pages are, are clear. This one's got the white plastic bit in the middle which would be fine too you could just cut them out of here attach these strips to the side of it and use it put some in there like that so I've done some like that if I can just get it out I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want to ruin it <laughs> and I also can't get my fingers in I've put these fake nails on they look nice but you can't do anything with them <laughs> And now they've got paint all over them because I've been playing around with paint. So this is one of the ones here. Excuse the glue marks. This is my prototype. So, you know, I made all the mistakes on here so you don't have to. <laughs> so I've just put some bits of um, scrapbook paper in there and just put it there. But, you know, you could easily pop a photo on there. So, and I've just used those strips down here to attach that to here. So you could attach practically anything to there so that's the these little strips here and the envelope and there's also a paper bag let me find the paper bag so once again you could cut the paper bag out of every anything but I have gone the craft paper route and once again I put the strips down the side it is it's got a whole bunch of ephemera in here at the moment bits that I haven't used and then on the back it just looks like a little paper bag I used the um, scissors that give you that little line across there so that is not part of the SVG um, you could just rip it if you wanted to whatever you wanted to do <laughs> to get that sort of finish across there or not at all <laughs> so that is the paper bag so then let's have a look at some of these base pages so for this base page here if you've seen any of my videos before you might know that I've made a whole mini album a lace mini album and it's got this um, border design down the side of all the base pages and all the um, bits and pieces that go in the album so I have used that again because I think it's really pretty so this is one of the base cards and then I've just put the corner pocket on there so there's a corner pocket here so I've just popped that one on there and then on the back I've just put a um, this is the bit that was stopping it from turning oh no it's not it's another bit <laughs> all this string that's too long I was going to put some beads on it I think so that's why I haven't why I've left it really long 
So then this one just opens up like that. So there's room for a couple of photos on that side as well. So that's that base page. And then I've got these base pages here. So there's one with a tab on the side at the top and one with a tab on the side in the middle. And of course, if you cut this one out and flip it over, then it will be a tab on the side at the bottom. So let's have a look. Uh, tab on the side at the top. This one here. Come on out. This one here has got the tab on the side at the top. So that's that base page here. And then I've also got this, this um, um, I guess you'd call it um, like a side pocket. So that's this one here. I'll call it a pocket or attacher because it doesn't have to be a pocket and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Or it's a sort of a different kind of a pocket, anyway. And then on the back, I've just made a tag and put my little bits of ephemera in there behind that tag. So I'm using that tag as like a little tuck spot. And this one here has got a couple of bits and pieces in it as well. So you, it's, it's. A, I love this project because I could not possibly do this all in a weekend probably. But just whenever I had a little bit of spare time and I felt like being uh, creative, I could just do one little bit and put it on my photo spinner. And so then it just kind of added up over time to being something pretty cool, I thought. <laughs> so then the base page three has got the same tab, but it's at the side, like this one. So that's the side tab, base page three, and it's got that same pocket on it here. And then I've just popped a couple of things in there. And then on the back, I've, um, there is a belly band here. It's just a plain belly band, but actually in this instance, I've used this bit of, I don't know what you'd even call it, stuff <laughs> as, a, as a belly band. So that's that one there. Okay, then we've got the base page four here, which has got this little curly Q sort of design on it, much like this little pocket down here. So let's see, this one here is like that. So this one, I have actually cut out two of the base page four and glued them together down the sides at the top and at the bottom and then made it into a pocket and put a little um, insert inside like that. And then this is a little um, sort of belly band scenario here. And on the back, I've just got another one of those little um, fold out um, booklets. So that's this base page here. And this is just a photo mat, it's a little, um, the pink matte piece on top is a little bit smaller than 6x4, but I think the base bottom bit is 6x4. Um, so you probably have to trim down your photo if you're going to use that matte, but not by a lot. And then base page 5 and 6 have got tabs on the middle top and at the far side at the top. I didn't put one on this side at the top because I didn't want it to interfere with this, um, with this mechanism up here. So. Um, let me show you what they look like. This one is the middle top tab. So you can see that it's got that tab at the top in the middle. That's base page five. And then I've used this side pocket on this one here, which is this one here, which looks like a sort of a file folder effect up there. And then I've just popped some bits and pieces in there. This is a, um, like a, film, what is it, like a Polaroid or a, a slide negative, but I've cut it out of metal and then embossed it and put some alcohol in, on it. That was really fun and I've done quite a few little bits and pieces in here. I'll have to do a video if you're interested. And then on the back I've just um, got a couple of inserts behind this little bit here that I've used as a belly band. So that's that one and then, oops. I lost a piece somewhere. Oh, that holds that on there like that. There we go. So then base page six is this one here. Let me get that one off. 
So this one has got the tab up the top here and this time I've just attached the lace side pocket. Um, this one here onto it to make it a little pocket and on the back I've again got another little booklet that just folds out like that place for a photo. So then uh, they're all going to fall off. Base page 8 is um, a, a photo insert page so let me find it. Um, base page 7 I should say is just plain it's got nothing on it and I use those probably more than anything now I'm just trying to find the one that I was talking about which is base page 8 Did a couple of those there we go so for base page 8 you actually need a page 7 um, and a page 8 in this instance so this base page 8 has got um, I did a, a clear plastic pocket so you can slide your photo in there like that so this is base page 8 with the mat on it and then attached to the back is pa base page 7 so that's what makes the pocket okay so then uh, this is the belly band so it's just a really plain belly band so you can stick whatever you like onto it or nothing at all so that's base page 8 and then just talking about these pockets, so I think we've seen an example of all of them, but I wanted to show you some other ways that I used it. So this one here, I've cut out both of these center ones with the little curly cues, but I've cut out two and joined them together at the top, at the bottom and at the side. And then it's just a little, you can just put a little insert in there. So I've just got this little, whoops, flip up booklet. And it just goes in here and then that just attaches like that to my photo spinner and it's, it holds in pretty well so I like that I did that for most of them I think um, let's have a look see what else I've got here so I've got different versions of all of these sorts of bits and pieces on here basically uh, I've got a couple of everything see what I've got here this one is another one of the another one of these with the inserts whoops but I've used this one here that looks like the file folder so I've put those two together and then I can just once again put some inserts in there and it just hold, hangs off my folder like that so I think um, then there's just the one with the slot pockets. Let me see if I can find one of those. Slot pocket. Uh, slot pocket. Here we go. So on the back of this one here, so I just used a lot of ephemera to make tuck spots because I have so much ephemera left over for this one. And this one again, this is base page 7. I've attached two of them together to make a little side pocket in the side. And then on the back I've got this one, the slot pockets here. So I've just put little, little bits and pieces in each of these little slot pockets. Like so. There's so much fun to make, honestly. And then this is just a little paper bead. Um, and then I've just included a couple of little tabs which are really good to use on things so this is that whale tail tab I've just put it on the side of this one here so you can pull it out and then one of the other tabs uh, I've got one it's a whale tail thought I might have pulled one off already with one on but Apparently not. Let's have a little look. See. Oh, so this one here is just a plain uh, base page seven, and then I've attached that tab on separately here. So that was just, and I just cut heaps of those out with that little bit of extra cardstock that you know, all the little leftover pieces. So I think that's all of it. Um, so what I might do is just take the rest of these off so I can show you the actual photo spinner itself. So just hang on a minute and I'll take the rest of these off. Okay, so this is what the photo spinner looks like when it's naked. <laughs> it's 
so I have painted this to make it look like this sort of tarnished brassy effect and it's got the three rings here which I say are like um, happy planner rings and then the whole thing is made from plastic and I have 3D printed it and the only thing that's not plastic is the Lazy Susan bearing um, piece that I've put in the bottom to make it spin like so so that is that's my photo spinner it looks it looks like nothing <laughs> when you um, take all the cards off it but anyway if um, if you were interested I have been looking at trying to um, post these send them out overseas and in Australia so um, I'm about to make another one and these are just all the bits here this one I'm going to make for myself and so if you were to purchase one I'm thinking that it will come sort of like this but what I will do is I'll attach the I will attach the bearing unit um, into the center piece like this uh, and glue that down for you uh, and I will also attach all of the rings and glue those on for you and then I will probably have to ship it in three pieces so I would ship this one to you um, in three pieces like that in a box and then you, all you'd have to do is um, and I'll write top and bottom on here and then all you have to do is get a bit of um, super glue and glue that one into that little hole there and then glue this one into that hole there like that that's all you'd have to do I can't find a box that's tall enough and wide enough that I can afford the the um, you know like I can I could buy them but I'd have to pay you know an individual price of like three dollars fifty for a box which I would much rather save you passing on that cost to you and just ship it in three pieces and then um, you know all you have to do is do two spots of glue and you're done so let me know how you feel about that uh, so I think that's it in terms of the photo spinner and I've probably made this a really long video so can you let me know if you're interested in the photo spinner because if you are I'll put both um, this physical thing in my Etsy store so you can purchase one of those and I'll also put the the photo, whoops, the photo spinner cards um, in the in my Etsy store so that you can purchase those. One other thing though, I just think I'm going to make this one for myself and I'm going to paint it this lovely aqua colour. I'll show you. This is um, and this is my idea for what I'm going to use it for. This is my um, art journal. I love doing little art journaly things. This here, this colour on here is my favourite all time colour at the moment. So I'm going to paint this with that colour I think and I'm probably going to put some gold on there as well because you can't have too much bling. Anyway, in my, for in my um, art journal I do like to do these kind of little cards so they're, they're quite small. They're smaller than 6x4 but um, I just use all my little scrap bits of paper and make a collage and then I just do a bit of painting over the top of it. I think there's a few in here. Not everything is finished. This is an unfinished album and uh, or journal and I'd be happy to flick through it if you were really that interested. Although, you know, sharing your art with other people is scary. There's another one. So I must have done those on the same day because they're the same colours. Um, the, well, the other thing that I've been using my 3D printer for, which you might find interesting, is, let me take all of that guff out of there. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, even. Let's take that out. Um, I have made some stamps. This is a stamp that I printed on my 3D printer, and I've been trying them out in here. So these are all um, made from stamps that I printed on my 3d printer anyway that's a whole side thing <laughs> but I've been doing these little bits here so I was thinking it'd be great if I could put those on the cards on my photo spinner and then I'd have a little art 
journal on my spinner. So, um, so I've been, I've already started cutting some bits out and then I've got a whole pile of these uh, little cards and I'll just pop them on. Oops, these ones are all in the, sort of in the series. They're a little bit bigger than ATCs, but uh, and these I haven't done at all. You know, I just do this kind of thing. Just while away my time doing little cards like this. Oh, there's some um, cyanotypes that I did when we went away one weekend. And these ones are a bit grungy. So I just thought these would look really good if I put them on a card. Um, like one of these. I could even match them again, you know, and then put them on here and they're just like little works of art. Anyway, I'm excited about it, even if no one else is. <laughs> anyway, so um, please tell me what you think. Thanks for bearing with me through this really long video. I'm sorry, I just got really excited. So anyway, thanks very much. I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.